Reality, I think more hit me the day that we had McKenna. When she was born, I got to see her for a few brief seconds in the delivery room, and then Brennan and her were whisked away to the NICU so that they could evaluate her. Um, so <laughs> when we went to the doctor to find out if it was a boy or a girl, we weren't gonna know. We didn't wanna find out. They're gonna give us the envelope. And then they noticed there was something wrong with the heart. So they, um, ended up telling us at the appointment that we were having a girl, so we had some good news from the appointment. And then immediately that afternoon, we met with Dr. Drosner, the fetal cardiologist. So Drosner did his echo, and we found out that she had hypoplastic left heart syndrome, HLHS for short. And then from there, it was kind of hit us like a freight train. The only thing I really heard at that appointment was that she was gonna be born with a heart defect, and then I didn't hear anything else. The room kind of just went silent. I took something that was so exciting and so was supposed to be the most happiest moment of my life and was the most terrifying moment of my life. Dr. Drosner told us about the heart team in Miami and so we went down there and met Dr. Burke. I felt like a warmth with him and I felt comfortable in giving my daughter's life in his hands. He pretty much told us it's going to be fine. He's like, we got this. Don't, don't worry about it. The day that we delivered McKenna, we chose to deliver at Wellington, which was close to home. We scheduled a C-section uh, with my doctor, who was a rock star. And so I felt very confident during the delivery, but I was absolutely terrified. Reality more sat in when I held McKenna for just a second. I showed her to Stephanie, and all of a sudden it was just like boom, boom, boom. And just before they left to go on the helicopter, I was able to see her in the recovery room in like a plastic container and she had a breathing tube in and um, you know there was all these paramedics around her and then it was just a glance to say goodbye and then they were gone in the helicopter. As soon as we got to Nicholas Children's, got her on the elevator, got down to the cardiac ICU floor and then it was it was literally like I was watching my life in slow motion. I mean it, it, it was insane. After I got discharged, I basically ran out of that hospital and my mother-in-law drove me to Miami and it was like the longest drive of my life. And uh, when I walked into the room, she was in like this little bed, with, like a little cute hat on and she had the breathing tube in and she was so little. I was almost afraid to even touch her because she had all this stuff hooked up to her. and. Um, I got to just like kind of hold her little hand and she would like hold my finger. And that was like the most contact that we had. McKenna is a miracle. McKenna was born with hypoplastic left heart syndrome. That's a mouthful, HLHS. But if you Google it, it makes you want to cry because it means a baby was born with half a heart. Most places in the world, those babies get put in a quiet corner of the nursery and they let them die and they all die. Here at Nicholas Children's Hospital, if you're born with hypoplastic left heart syndrome and you have your operation here, you've got a 90% chance of making it through your first operation, 100% chance of making it through, through your second operation, and 100% chance of making it through your third operation. It was tough, but then Bert comes out and he shows you these pictures and he goes, this is what I did. This is the size of her heart compared to my thumb, which it was, it, was, it was neat to see how transparent he is. When a baby like McKenna comes here, she becomes part of our family because we're not just opting her on her one day and sending her home. We know we're staging operations over her lifetime. I feel blessed that I was given the ability to do these operations. And when I look at my babies and, and know how much I love them and how much I would do to keep them alive, it makes me happy that I can do that for these parents. And McKenna's always happy. She's running around the hospital. She's one of those irrepressible kids. The fun thing with McKenna is she never shows any symptoms that she has half a heart. You would never know upon first meeting her that she's had three surgeries. You would never know that she spent over 100 days in an ICU because she's always this like fun, crazy, outgoing burst of energy. My biggest message to the staff and to the doctors and the surgeons is 
you're the reason my daughter's still alive. And <sighs> we're very, very thankful and very blessed to be so close to Nicholas Children's and we're only a two hour drive away. I mean, it takes a very special person to be able to do what they do every day. You can't thank these people, you can't thank them enough because every day you're reminded of what they've done for you.